Hello? Hey, Clifford? Yes, sir. Clifford, how you doing today, partner? You doing all right? Doing pretty good. Good, good, good. I know we were... <laughs> good, good to uh, kind of catch up here. My name is Peter. I know we were kind of texting a little bit back and forth. Um, I was yeah. just trying to really piece together. You sent in this request, I believe, um, like early th this afternoon. You listed that your spouse would be your beneficiary. Is that right? Yes. Okay, and I have you here um, that you uh, currently do not have any coverage in place. Were you mainly just looking to leave like something behind for like the family, or are you just trying to cover those burial expenses? Looking for something behind, leave behind for the family. Okay, you just want something to kind of just you know leave something behind, but for the family is your biggest goal. Correct. Okay, got you here. Um, so. What we do here for you, uh, Mr. Clifford, is that we work with like all 26 companies here in the state, and we specialize in, in helping find the most affordable rate statewide. There's like special plans. Well, I don't have, I don't have diabetes. Okay. I don't have high blood pressure. Oh, that's what it is, high blood pressure. Okay, let me just say yeah. that'll help you out with the high blood pressure. So we'll look through all the companies here to find that most affordable rate. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Now, to see how I can best help you, um, I'm missing your birth. What's your exact date of birth here, Mr. Clifford? You got it there for you. And I got you here in uh, North Carolina. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Are you a smoker? Yes. Okay, got you. And then in regards to smoking, any like lung disease or any mild COPD, anything like that? No, sir. Okay, beautiful. Any heart attacks, strokes, or cancers at all? No. Okay, amen. Okay, because that medication is pretty common. Are you on any water pills like ferrosamide or hydrochlorothiazide by chance? Well, they wanted to start me on mm. side, but they said that they don't want no fluid or nothing. Yeah, okay, that's what they usually, they usually combine the isosorbide with that ferrosamide, so that makes that makes a lot of sense. And how about hospitalizations? Have you been hospitalized in the last two years? Oh, beautiful. Well, this is looking looking really good here for us. Actually, looks like you should be able to get that day one coverage. Awesome. Um, before I jump into this for you here, um, I just want to give you a bit of my personal information. Do you have like a pen and paper on you? Um, I just want to give that to you, Mr. Clifford. Hold on. Okay. I'm still here with you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, cool, cool, cool. You still with me there? Yes, sir. Okay, cool. Let me know when you're ready. I'll get that. I'll get my information to you. Okay. Yep. So my first and last name for here, Mr. Clifford, is Peter Roberts. Peter Roberts. Yes, sir. Uh, secondly, I want to give you my uh, direct number here. Just know that you can call me. You can text me. Uh, anytime you need something, just know that I'm always here for you. Uh, my direct office number is eight three three. Okay. Uh, lastly, the state does require that I do share with you my personal cell phone number. This number will share with you that I'm basically licensed you know, with the state, that I've been through all those background checks, but most importantly, have the credentials to be speaking with you upon this today. That number is... Excuse me for one second. Excuse me for one second. I got 8338. Eight. Uh, and then I want to give you my license number here in the state. You can look up all my information as well. It's... Uh, 1950. Okay. Right. That's basically my li license number. You can look me up, share with you my hair color, all that. I've been, been the, you know, doing this for a long time. But um, really, just back to you here. I want to focus on Mr. Clifford, you, and how I can help you and your family. Um, fill me in. What had you really motivated to start, I guess, looking around for some life insurance? Well, I always wanted it. I just delayed it. Um, mm -hmm. I had it when I was younger. Okay. Um, due to uh, moving and loss of job. Um, I let it relapse, elapse, and it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just simple stuff that I should have mm. been more focused mm. on it. Okay. So it's, it sounds like you've had it in the past and um, it sounds like at one point you really valued it and then you let it lapse and I, I guess now, I mean, I guess now, since... And now that I got kids, mm. uh, I'm looking at it more. Mm. Okay. Okay, so, so now that you have the kids, it sounds like as a father, you just want to make sure that your your kids are taken care of if something happens to you. Right. Is, right. And I guess, you know, what is your biggest concern when it comes to like, you know, what's the goal of having the life insurance? Uh, protection, something that can take the place of, of my uh, non-existent as being here. Mm. It's to protect them a little bit financially. Mm. Uh, Bills or living 
expenses a little bit. Okay, so if something happens to you, God forbid, just as a father making sure that like the bills are taken care of, some of the bear, some of the like the bills and living expenses. Um, by chance, are you worried about any like the funeral expenses? I know that's kind of common. Would that be a concern of yours as well, or or not really? No, at this moment, not. I'm okay. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to get separate. Okay. Okay, so you want something to basically be there for the bills, possibly cover the burial, but not, not too focused, but also to make sure that your kids are taken care of if you were to kind of pass, God forbid, is that is that about right? Correct. Okay, gotcha. And um, <clears throat> I guess what would it look like? I mean, what specific bills or like debts are you worried about leaving behind to the family that really keep you up at night? Um, uh, there's life expenses. Mm. I mean, they're feeding my kids, uh, house payments. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just the life expenses, the cars, and just upkeeping. Up, upkeeping. I guess who would be the one? I guess since you've always had the life insurance, so you've always wanted to protect yourself. Who would it be that would be responsible for mainly like covering those expenses if if you were no longer here? Who would that really fall fall on? That would be domestic partner. Okay, your domestic partner. Okay. And are they like <clears throat> in a financial position to like kind of carry on with those bills or what would that look like for them? Um, they would need help. Okay. They would need help. What do you mean by that? As in uh, taking care of the kids, mm. uh, expenses on the house. Okay. Gotcha. So just they would be responsible for making sure the kids, you know, got the clothes, the food, the shelter, all that stuff basically. Okay, gotcha. And anything else that really kind of keeps you up? I know it sounds pretty important. Anything else that you're worried about since you don't have the, any like life insurance in place right now? No. Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> I just want to make sure that, you know, we're on the same page here. It just really sounds like that you want to make sure, you know, as a father that any of the bills, any of the debts uh, that could fall on towards your partner, that, that you have something in place to make sure that they're taken care of. Uh, is that all about right? <clears throat> Okay. Now it sounds super important to you, Mr. Clifford. Have you been looking in, into something like this for like a while now, or is this this kind of recent? Well, um, Kiefer, this is a new yeah. question that I'm gonna add into my uh, script. Uh, mm-hmm. Back and forth. Um, it's a few things that I've looked at and wrote down. Uh, Good. I'm shopping. I'm shopping right now. My best option. I'm shopping right now. Um, one of them. Uh. It's, it's kind of high when you have uh, hypertension and all mm. the two medications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you know, so shopping right now. Gotcha. So. Mm -hmm. this yeah, so it sounds like you, you definitely want to put a solution in place, but you want to make sure it fits the budget, and it's comfortable, and you want to find like the best plan as well. Is that about right? Yeah. Okay. Got. And what have they been telling you? I mean, for, gosh, I mean, I don't know. What, what have they been telling you for the price? What have you seen? Oh my gosh, for how much covers? Like 20000 or something? 25000 Oh my gosh. And they're probably trying to stick in one of those two-year waiting periods, aren't they? Exactly. Okay, exactly. This, is, this is exactly how we help. We don't want to put anybody in a waiting period. Okay, this is looking good. Um, but I'm going to do my best here for you, Mr. Clifford. I'm going to try my best. I want you to know, really, just I'm going to be here for you and your kids. I want you to know I'm going to do my best here for you guys, okay? Um, okay. In regards to the kind of coverage amount, you're looking for maybe like twenty to twenty-five thousand. Is that kind of what you're looking for, in like the ballpark? Uh, uh, I was looking for something like fifty thousand. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and just, just I want to set expectations. Um, I just want to be honest with you. With the health conditions, would it be okay if you had a little bit less coverage because it would fit the budget more? And ultimately, like, would you say having just a little bit in place would that be better than I guess having nothing at all? Yeah. Okay, got you there. Um, cool. Well, it looks looking good here for you here. Um, in regards to like your your situation here, knowing that you could have some coverage in place, I guess how would that make it? I guess make you feel knowing that you could put a solution in place to make sure that your family was kind of taken care of. How would that? How would that really make you feel? It make me feel good. Great. Oh, great. Okay, gotcha. So do you feel like this could possibly be maybe like the answer that you've been looking for? Okay, so you believe this is the this is the solution to like the worry and kind of everything that you've been kind of going through. Okay, um, 
other than that, well, we do work with people who are on like really fixed incomes, like social security or disability or, you know, just with the economy, everything's going up. We gotta make sure that we can find you something that's both comfortable and affordable for you here statewide. If I could, you know, really, you know, find you something that's just like nice and comfortable here, would there be, I guess, anything, you know, holding you back to seeing if you can get approved here today? No, if it makes sense, I, I, I want it. Okay. Well, straight to the point here. Now, we work with a lot of people, again, on the fixed incomes. Uh, there is an additional discount here for those 10% um, discount, what I'm seeing. It's just a really well-known and established company for you, okay? Um, they also are backed by the better... I'm sorry, slow down a little bit, sir. Okay. What so, is this? Uh, so life insurance? Life of America is the insurance company. Yes, sir. Okay. okay. Got them down. Um, they're also A rated with the state means that they pay out their claims in 24 hours, haven't missed a payout claim, just a really well known and established company. It's really important that you have a reputable company on your side. Okay. Now, here's why they're going to be the best company for you statewide. Number one, uh, they are the only company with that isosorbide uh, and that the medication that you're taking, the high blood pressure, the isosorbide, because that comes up as like a congestive heart failure type medication that will not, this company will not make you wait two years, okay, which is an absolute blessing. Meaning if, God forbid, something were to happen to you tomorrow, Mr. Clifford, your beneficiaries get this policy payout in 24 to 48 hours. This is the only company that would provide that immediate day one coverage. Do you see how important that is for you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So they have three options here for you. You can really just go up or down based off your budget and your needs. Just really important that we just find something that's comfortable and affordable for you every month, okay? So the first option, we'll start a little low. They have a like a fifteen thousand dollar option. We'll go fifteen. The the max option here for you is a fifteen thousand dollar option. Well, the the, the the starter option is called the fifteen thousand. What this would do for you, <clears throat> Mr. Clifford, it would again be that immediate day one protection. And what that would do is make sure that if something were to happen to you, uh, you know, fifteen thousand could be given to your beneficiaries, making sure you know the the bills, you know, the mortgage, and just everything's kind of just there in place to make sure that your family is taken care of. Uh, that fifteen thousand. If you can get approved again, day one coverage, the 15,000, uh, probably less than what you're hearing here would be uh, $87.74 per month, okay? That sounds good, man, but 15,000, man, it's, it's not enough. Okay, so you want, to, you want me to go up in coverage a little bit for you? Yeah. Okay, cool. The max, this is the max coverage here for you. Again, just with your health, this is the max coverage with that day one coverage. Again, I don't want to put you in like one of those two year waiting periods. The maximum coverage is 20,000. Okay, it's not like 300 bucks like what you've been seeing. The 20,000 cover all those expenses, make sure your family's taken care of. That 20,000 would be 112.98 per month. Do you think that would kind of be better for you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what we could do, um, you can actually have two combined policies, but just statewide. So I work with like Mutual Omaha, Lincoln Heritage, Colon all those companies are going to put you in a waiting period. This is literally the only company that would have that immediate coverage. So what you could do is you can always start small with something like, you know, 15, 20,000. And then you can always add on additional once you feel like that fits the budget okay later down the road with either more of this company or with an additional company, but they might have you in a waiting period. This is really gonna be the only option for that day one coverage. Does, it, does that make sense? Yeah. So. So they couldn't so could do like 35,000? <clears throat> within the 12 months, you can't increase it as of now. Um, but typically what I'll do is I could check up on you. Like I wanna be here to serve you for the rest of your life. So you can always, if I, if I find you can increase it, you know, three, six months on the road, I'm gonna be checking out with you and say, hey, you know, Mr. Clifford, we can always add on to it. Um, but initially right now you have to get started with something small, but 20,000 is the max with that ISO sorbide. And then you can always increase it later down the road. Does that make sense for you? Um, do you think that 20,000 for 112, like 98, would that be comfortable for you every month? Yeah, it's probably. I mean, would you agree that this is probably the most amount of coverage you've seen for the the most the best rate and like the the largest amount of benefit? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, well, one I did, one I did uh, with Mitchell Omaha. Yeah. They probably they probably stuck you in one of those two year waiting periods, didn't they? I think it was a year waiting period. Yeah. Yeah. It should. Mm hmm. But I would satisfied with what they offer. Yeah. So what we can do here, Mr. Clifford, and ultimately, I gotta see if we can get you approved. What we can do is like, I'm gonna be fighting for you too. Um, I know that's gonna be the best plan for it. What we can do is first see if we get you approved. And then if you do get approved, we can kind of set up for a date that makes sense for you. We can kind of throw in your beneficiaries there. And then I want you to know I'll be checking in with you and we can always kind of increase it later down the road. Does that sound fair for you? Okay. Okay. Uh, and then for your beneficiaries, who do you plan on putting on this policy? Jessica. Okay, Miss Jessica here. Okay, the, the payment method. Uh, what day would you want everything to kind of kick in for you so that you are finally protected and, and covered? What, what is that best date for you? Uh, I would like to do the, uh, I would like to do the, is the fourth? Uh, every month? Is that too far out? Yeah, so I know, <clears throat> I know, uh, I can, so it won't let me push. I can do it today, like I can have it start, like, on the 5th, which would be today, every month. Does that work well for you? Uh, well, I can set up the payment for whatever you need. So what day would you be most comfortable with making that payment every month? Like, I just want to make sure. Okay. So you just got, okay, so you just got paid on the 5th? Yes. Okay. So talk, me, I just want to make sure I'm helping you. Um, I just will this be comfortable and affordable for you? Because then he's got paid. I don't want to set you up with something that you can't keep. Will that be affordable for you? The eighty some bucks. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if I can put. Okay. Okay, I can do the sixteenth of this month. Does that work well for you? Yeah. Okay. That'll be the sixteenth. I'm just making sure because this insurance is always good when you make you make sure that payments there, and we're always here to assist to make sure those payments go through. Okay. This is this the insurance guy. This one is there. Okay, I got, I got her right here, Jessica. Oh, hey, Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Can you kind of briefly go over? Yeah. What you to me? Yeah, but Jessica, how you doing? Can you hear me okay? Hi, how are you? Good, good, good. My name is Peter Roberts, so I'll speak to Mr. Clifford. Um, basically, what we do, I'll, I'll kind of give you a rundown. We actually um, work with all 26 companies here in the state, and going over Mr. Clifford's medical records and his health, uh, we found one company for him. It's the only company in the whole United States that will take his isosorbide and his heart medications without a two-year waiting period. So we found him uh, the best plan with a company called of America, which means, um, and it's a $20,000 policy, and he assigned you as the beneficiary. So what this is, is uh, he wants to set this up so if something were to happen to him, if he dies from natural causes, if something happened to him tomorrow, that you would actually be protected um, with this day one coverage. Because um, with, with his health, every company, like we work with Mutual of Omaha, if they're gonna put him in a waiting period, except for this company life. So that was kind of a blessing that we were able to find him a good company like that. Okay, that's a whole life policy? Yes, ma'am, whole life. Uh, two things to keep in mind here, the cost will never go up and the premiums will never change and it'll be locked in for the rest of his life. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else I can help you with? I, I'm gonna uh, send you over my number two. I really want you to know, Miss Jessica, that I'm gonna be here for you and Mr. Clifford. So if you need anything, I'll be checking up with you guys every two to three months, if that's okay, just to let you know that I'm always here for you guys. Is that okay? Yes, that's fine. Okay. And when you're telling me about it. Yes, ma'am. So uh, let me go back to the last step here for him. It was like 87 bucks for the 20000 Okay. At any time, can he uh, raise the benefit on that? Yeah. So what I was telling him is that right now, for the, the next 12 months, he can't raise the benefit because of his... We could add on another company, but every other company with that ISO sorbide will not accept him day one. So as of now, he has to wait uh, 6 to 12 months to even have the option to possibly add here. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? Right. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, what we can always do is we can have, like, always have six-month reviews or 12-month reviews, but this is really going to be the best option for him. Okay. Yeah. No more questions. Thank you. Okay. And also, uh -huh. also can, you, can you do me a favor, too, since can you shop around to see could I get something something else in plan for under, under $112? Like to add on? Oh, so you, you want to, like, find a second plan to add on? 
Yes. Yeah. So after this, let's go ahead and make sure you're fully approved here. There's one. There's only one other company. They're going to give you a 12 month waiting period, but I can I can definitely see what we have. But I want to make sure we get you that no waiting period first before we talk about other options. Does that sound fair? Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, and then we're going to hit next here, and I'm always going to be here for you and, and Jessica um, as well. So we're going to put everything on the 16th of the month. You said. Okay. Cool. That'll give you time to have that policy come out there for you. Uh, 16th of 3, 16 of 2024. It's going to be 80. It's going to be that 72 cents. And we're going to put. You're going to be the one of funding this, correct? Yes. Okay. We're going to put you down here, and we're going to hit next. <clears throat> Okay. And then in regards to funding this, uh, will you be using like a checkings or a savings account? Checkings. Okay, checking. And then who do you bank with, Mr. Clifford? Bank. Uh, and that's, you open that in North Carolina? Yes. Okay, we're going to put that down. Now, I don't know if this is right, but it auto generates. You gotta, you gotta might, you might have to help me here. Um, it's showing here uh, the routing number. It's public is uh, zero. Is that right? Hold on. Hold on. Let me make sure. Okay. It's too many numbers. It don't make sense. It's. I don't know if this is right, but it's come up as zero, and then the account number. Sure. Correct. And then for you, Mr. Clifford, what is uh, the billing? Uh, I guess address and for you there. You've been fully approved for that day one coverage. Congratulations.